Zinch versus Dark Elves, not a matchup you typically get to see, though both are decently high tier, especially at high levels of play. Zinch, it, Zinch does suffer from kind of the Wood Elf conundrum uh, in faction design, where like the higher tier player you are, the higher tier Zinch is on your tier list. Where if you're like a new player, Zinch feels like dog shit multiplayer, but if you're an excellent, excellent player, they are top of the meta. So, yeah. I do actually, unironically, like this Dark Elf build. Um, I don't know how much of it a meme is a meme and how much is real from this player, Bok Bok. He has been having some fun with Hydras lately. But like, real talk for a second, Hydras still have that bug where they use too much regeneration at once and they like double heal or something. So they're going to heal cap every single fucking game every time. And that does make it hard to like really whittle them down with the Soul Grinder or with Blue Horrors and stuff. And the Malekith with Soul Stealer has a huge health pool. It can also heal himself up. So if you use Soul Stealer only to heal Malekith, you could actually tank through most of Zincha's ammunition and be just fine. Anyway, for the build overall, we do have Malekith on his dragon with Soul Stealer and Power of Darkness. We have four Dark Riders for a little bit of Cav Presence. Double War Hydra, one of which is the Chill of Sontar for their breath attacks and their gigantic health pools. Dread Spears and Bleak Swords across the front line, triple Dark Shards with shields to do some fire support and deal with heavy knights and such like that. On the side of Dretch and Zinch, we have two Screamers of Zinch, Kairos Fate Weaver with Blue Fire and Regrowth, a bunch of Marauders of Zinch, a Soul Grinder, and some Blue Horrors. Ooh, also a Chosen of Zinch with Halberds. And two Chosen of Zinch with Sword and Board, what the hell? Okay, that's some Elite Infantry, but still Hydra Breath Attacks, Malekith Breath Attacks. Ooh, God, there's three Breath Attacks on this army. Ugh, gross. Anyway, three breath attacks plus dark shards. Those chosen days are numbered. Gaze of Fate locking Malekith in place while blue horrors are going to shoot at him and screamers are going to attack him in the back. Now they'll take a little bit of friendly fire, but overall it's worth it. A lot of damage coming out, and he is throwing out the first soul stealer. Again, his whole objective is just to tank damage and heal it back up, much like his hydras. Dark Riders get on the blue horrors, but blue horrors are hybrid melee infantry, so they should be able to handle the Dark Riders, honestly. They'll do just fine. Dark Shards are already teeing off onto Chosen, and the Hydras are here. Blue Horror is firing up from the Screamers of Zinch, though they're actually shooting at Malekith. He's going to dodge all those shots. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Um, yeah, he's going to be fine. Now, winning this game for Zinch is going to be difficult, difficult, lemon difficult, as the Dark Elves have already collided with their front line. The Blue Horrors are taking a lot of damage. Chosen still full HP, haven't gotten through their shields just yet, but the Dark ride, the dark Shards have been able to free fire. Um, they're doing fine, big blue fire cast out of the Dark Shards, pretty smart, nice side angle there, but good dodge from Bok Bok, he was just fine. Kairos now taking some Dark Shard fire. He does have regrowth, so I think they should focus more of their efforts on the Chosen, because he is just going to heal himself up, but eh, to each their own. So Marauders are starting to route, anything that routes should be run down by these Dark Riders, that's really their only function in this game since they won't win in melee against the Blue Horrors or really anything like that, so those Marauders have to be run down, does not look like that will occur. Both Hydras still full HP, chilling, currently killing some Blue Horrors and Screamers are now surrounding them, they will also die a horrible death. Malkit throws out his first breath attack onto the Chosen of Zinch plus some Marauders, decent damage onto both those guys. Less than I would have suspected, honestly, as Dark Shards still try to punish Kairos. Another big blue fire on Avalokith, and his healing cap isn't even within sight. We've only seen one Soul Stealer from him, so I imagine there are more coming soon. Second blue fire hits him from the Staff of Tomorrow, decreasing cooldowns of Zinch. Then a Gaze of Fate holds him in place for the Bolt of Change army ability to come hit him. Chosen of Zinch have pushed past the Dread Spears. They are almost on top of the Dark Shards. Can they actually get over there? It looks like for a second they get distracted. Soul Sealer hits just Kairos, but it was, well, and some Chosen Zinch, but it was mostly just to get on Malekith. Who's now going to land on some Chosen? Nope, decides against it. Nope, he goes for it. All right, cool. In the backfield, how are the Hydras doing? They are doing great. They are pushing through Chosen with Halberds like it doesn't even matter, and attacking a Soul Grinder, really keeping it on the back foot. Dark Riders and Bleak Swords trying to surround these Screamers, and Blue Horrors, they will take them out, and the Murderous Prowess is now popped, making Dark Riders, eh, a force to be reckoned with with 30 melee attack. Not bad. Not bad at all. Dark Shard's still punishing Kairos. Again, I would really like to see them focusing on the Chosen, but I guess maybe with two Hydra Breath Attacks and Malekith's Breath Attacks, you're not super worried about this Chosen in the late game. Just wanting to shoot Kairos. I still think you should probably just shoot the Chosen, but, you know, each their own. Soul Grinder's opting out. Kairos is also quite injured. Arcane Surge popped on him. He's going to need to throw a regrowth on himself or his Soul Grinder soon. You can already see how uh, how much of a hard time Zinch is having there behind in the balance of power, and I would tend to agree. Malekith's healing cap is way up there. Hydra's both still look fine overall, and the heal is coming in. It is for the Soul Grinder. 
One of the Screamers is entirely dead. The other one is barely clinging to life for now. Big breath attack from Alakith. Looks like he was honestly targeting his own Hydra. I know he was going for the Halberds, but still that looked like he was fucking attacking the Hydra, which is kind of metal. And those guys are real close to terror outing, but even if they tear out, their leadership should be fine enough that they'll come back regardless. Chosen are trying to penetrate the back line, but the triple dark shards are kind of wood elfing them right now, just peeling and then shooting it on them. You can see how much damage they do to those Chosen, even with all that armor. The armor piercing of the dark shards is strong as hell. Blue fire plus the soul grinder. Everybody trying to punish Malekith. One of the blue fires goes awry because he kind of half landed, then came back up. Looks like that juked out a bit. The Hydra still chased down the soul grinders. One of their healing caps is within sight. Malekith's healing cap is within sight, but there's still plenty to go. And the chill of Santar is vibing. Zinch is routing across the board. Dark shards, if they get one big volley onto these chosen, actually, I could see army losses happening as the Hydras are bullying this poor soul grinder. And there's just too much meat. There's just too much healing for Zinch to really get through. Soul Grinder and Kairos Poke did not amount to anything. It's going to get a lot of value. Like, their value is going to be insane, but their actual contribution to the fight, like, Malekith's still here, still doing stuff. Hydras are still here, still doing stuff. So that's kind of my point is, like, it doesn't matter if you get 10,000 value if your opponent can heal 11,000 worth, right? So unable to actually kill anything, the Dark Elves do just withstand the assault. And that will be the end. Soul Sealers popped onto both the large single entities. Even if army losses wasn't already hitting, which it is, it, that would for sure finish them off. And the healing stands triumphant. Maybe the switch to percentage healing was a little too strong. Maybe, possibly, potentially, but it's the world we live in. GG. All right, Malekith, 1,700 value is mostly just tanking. Hydra's 900 apiece, mostly just tanking as well. Dark Shards did fine. Dark Riders did fine. Bleak Swords doing well. Yep. Some Dread Spears. Kairos, Soul Grinder. Actually, not as much value as I would have suspected. Chosen of Zinch, Chosen of Zinch with Halberds. The Halberds did okay. The basic Chosen of Zinch really struggled to find a fight. And Screamers did okay. Blue Horrors did okay, but there's just too much sauce to get through. Goodbye! Rawr. Subscribe, yes, yes.